What's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best loadouts to use for Warzone's Ranked Resurgence. If you guys are looking for somebody to help rank up your account, I made a Discord where I'm going to be ranking up people's accounts on stream. I got all the prices listed in there. I have any questions listed in there. And yes, it works for any platform. You just need to make sure you know where your Call of Duty account is. If you're looking to purchase a rank up for Warzone Ranked, just click the first link in the description. It's that Discord link. And now let's jump right into today's classes. All right, guys. So we're going to start this video off by looking at the SM G meta and then we're going to be showing the primary ARs metas. There's only a couple of guns that are viable for each. And I'll tell you which guns when we get to it that I think are the best. So let's go ahead and jump right into these SMGs. For our first SMG, we're going to be looking at the Ram 9. The Ram 9 has a pretty competitive time to kill with that HRM. It does kill technically a little bit faster. If you shoot this at the same time as the HRM 9, this gun will beat the HRM. The Ram 9 also feels like it has significantly better movement compared to the HRM 9, which is something that I think pushes a lot of people towards this over the HRM. For our class setup, we're going to be chucking on the 50 round mag. We're going to be combining that with the retort 90 rear grip for a little bit of extra recoil control. The cool thing about this grip is you're going to get a ton of extra recoil control for pretty much no cons. You're not going to notice less aim idle sway. It's just not something you're going to pick up on when you're using the gun. You get all that for pretty much nothing. We're going to combine that with the Zen compensated flash hider muscle for a little bit of extra recoil control and help keep us off that mini map. The nice thing about this is when we stop shooting, our pings on the mini map will pretty much go away. We also get really good recoil bonuses for using this. For our fourth attachment, we're going to be adding a movement-based and ADS speed-based attachment, the DR6 hand stop. Some of these recoil boosting attachments do slow down your ADS speed. Prime example of the muzzle we just chucked on. So this is going to help us get some of that ADS speed back, and it's also going to help us increase our movement speed. But if you want, like, the max movement build, you want to chuck on that XRK edge, just because it's the best movement boosting under barrel. I like the DR6 though, so I'm going to stick with that. And then lastly, for our fifth attachment, we're going to be chucking on the Ultra Light Stock Pad. The Ultra Light Stock is going to help boost our base sprint speed allowing us to literally run faster around the map also gonna help with our movement speed and the only con that we get by using this is a little bit less of a stable recoil pattern which to be honest you probably will notice a little bit but the movement bonuses you get by using this are so worth it now if you really struggle with the recoil on this class setup what you could do is you could take off the stock and chuck on the speedway v5 short barrel this is going to help with recoil control a lot however it's going to torch your damage range and your bullet velocity and it's going to make you aim in a lot slower it's really going to slow down the gun but it's really going to make it a lot easier to use if you struggle with the recoil Coil, take off the stock and put on that barrel. That's the Ram 9 setup, though. Screenshot it, do what you gotta do, and let's go ahead and jump right into the next one. All right, so for our next sub, we're gonna be talking about the HRM 9, and in my opinion, this is the most well rounded SMG to use for Warzone, right? The HRM 9 has a very competitive time to kill, and while it may kill technically slower than that Ram 9, if you include things like the sprint to fire delay, the open bolt delay, things that matter when you're running around the map and have to stop and shoot, from that time where you stop sprinting to go to shoot somebody, you can get shots off faster with the HRM compared to that ram 9 and in those situations you will actually kill people using the ram 9 a couple of other things to note here with this the movement isn't as good as the ram 9 on this hrm however i think it's a little bit more consistent and a little bit more well-rounded i think is the good word to put and because of that this is why this smg is the most popular gun to use on resurgent rank to start off building this we're going to be using the exact same 50 round mag you pretty much are going to max the ammo count on every gun we're using in today's video just because you need all the ammo you can get for our second attach we're going to be chucking on that same zen compensated flash hider muzzle so it's very popular for the subs. Lots of pros, especially in the recoil category for not many cons, especially since the main con with this is a little bit slower of ADS speed. And since those SMGs aim in so fast anyway, those little percents on already small numbers don't really make much of a difference. So you're getting lots of pros, pretty much no cons. For our third attachment, we are actually going to be using a barrel on this class. We're going to be using the Thorn 90 barrel. Now, a lot of people go back and forth between this and chucking on the high grain ammo type. In my testing, in my games, using the ammo over the barrel, I found that the barrel overall in more situations than the ammo type feels a lot better. You're also going to have more recoil when you use the high grain ammo type. And the high grain ammo type doesn't really help you too much in those faraway gunfights. It's only going to boost that range at which you get the fastest time to kill by 1.7 meters. It's honestly not much at all. So there's a very select and very few amount of gunfights where this is actually going to benefit you in. And because of that, I think the benefits we get with the barrel, which are things like sprint speed, ADS speed, hip fire accuracy, stuff like that, those are way more noticeable than that ammo type so i think the barrel is better for our fourth attach we're already chucking on that same dr6 hand stop my favorite under barrel in the entire game it's gonna help boost our ads speed sprint to fire speed and our movement speed just like it did on the ram 9 and then for our fifth attach we're gonna be chucking on a stock the folding stock attachment this stock is dope because we're gonna get a ton of recoil control just for four percent added to our ads and quite honestly the amount of recoil control we get by using this is totally worth slightly slower 
lower ADS. I mean, 4% on a small number, you're not going to notice it. This is the HRM9 setup you guys should all be using. And now it's 100% the meta. You're going to see most of the pros using this also. And it's for the exact same reasons that I just mentioned. Now, the third gun I want to talk about is the WSP9, which is honestly something you probably don't see too much in ranked play. The reason I want to mention this is because if you pull up the TCK chart here, and this includes things like open bolt delay and sprint to fire delay, things that actually like matter when you're taking this gun from sprint into gunfights. If you sort this by time to kill, this is the result that you get. And out of the main most popular subs, the WSP9 actually kills the second fastest. It also has incredible movement, way better movement than that Ram 9 and the HRM 9. So I'm honestly kind of surprised that this gun doesn't get as much love as it should. We're going to be starting this setup off by using the 50 round mag, just like a lot of the other setups that we've been using. We're going to combine that mag with the WSP factory stock. That's going to also help with our sprint speed, our movement speed, and our ADS speed, kind of similar to the barrel, what the barrel did on the HRM. The cool thing about this stock is it's going to help significantly boost our sprint speed, movement speed, and our ADS speed. And it's not going to totally torture recoil too much. Like I said, the movement speed on the Wasp 9 is so much better than the HRM and the Ram 9. You literally feel like you're flying around the map when you're using this setup, and that stock 100% contributes to that. The third attacher, we're going to be chucking on a laser, something you honestly don't see too much of anymore. And for that laser, we're going to be using the VLK laser, the 7 milliwatt. The reason we're using this is it's going to help significantly boost our sprint speed and our sprint to fire speed, which look at that sprint to fire speed. Look how low that is. It's one of the main ways this gun out gun some of the other SMGs in the game because when you're taking this gun from sprint and have to stop and shoot somebody you're able to outgun pretty much everything for our fourth attacher we're going to be using the HISS short barrel the reason we're using this is because it's going to help also boost our sprint speed like the ram 9 barrel and it's going to help boost our ADS speed this is also a big contributor to the crazy movement that this gun has and like I said before the movement is what makes this gun really fun and then lastly we're going to be using the XRK edge hand stop for our under barrel I know in the other subs we use the DR6 hand stop but the XRK is really going to help that crazy button very smooth movement that we just don't get on the other subs. This Thunder Barrel is going to help make that quad even better, and it's also going to help a little bit with our ADS speed. That's the WSP9. Like I said, if you compare the time to kill charts and sort the main SMGs, we're coming out of sprint and have to stop and shoot somebody. This gun is the second fastest when it comes to it. It's crazy. But enough of me talking about the SMGs and the subs. Let's go ahead and talk about the primary guns, the ARs, the LMGs. If you have any questions about the subs, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys as quick as possible. I reply to literally every single one. And to kick things off for our primaries, for our ARs, for our LMGs, whatever you want to call it kind of all lumped into one honestly we're gonna be talking about the ram 7 now the ram 7 may not have the fastest time to kill when it comes to the primary guns however the ram 7 is both easy to use really low recoil and very forgiving because of its fast fire rate if you miss a shot and some of the other slower firing guns for example the soa subverter which i'm going to mention right after this if you miss just one bullet you're going to see that time to kill of the gun shoot way up and kill suddenly slower than a lot of other guns just because you missed one bullet whereas with the ram which shoots insanely fast if you miss one bullet you're not going to really see a huge time to kill increase it's going to stay around that same spot adding to that kind of consistency or consistent feel of the gun that's why the ram 7 is the most popular gun for resurgence rank it's the most well-rounded and consistent just like that hrm 9 smg is i've already posted a lot of videos on the ram 7 so i don't want to beat this to that too much but we're gonna be stuck on the 60 round mag we're gonna be using the recoil stock just because it doesn't slow down ads speed and we get a ton ton of recoil control by using this stock 20 percent smoother recoil pattern eight percent each direction super worth the slightly slower sprint speed which to be honest we're not going to notice anyway because we're running around with our sub out for our third attachment we're going to be chucking on the cronin headwind long barrel this is going to help with our bullet velocity and our damage range and they nerfed this gun a couple of weeks ago i think it was like three or so weeks ago now so the nerf that they applied to this was a damage range nerf meaning that it doesn't hit as hard from far away and so using this barrel is going to pretty much cancel that out we're going to see a 21 percent boost in both the minimum damage range and effective damage range and we're going to see a 20 five percent boost our bullet velocity bullet velocity on this gun is crazy and this attachment is going to basically mean we can just point and shoot the gun at people from far away while still doing the most damage and then for our fourth and fifth attaches we're going to be focusing on the horizontal recoil this gun doesn't have a whole lot of vertical recoil but horizontal recoil definitely does have and so the cast is break muzzle for the first attachment is going to help significantly remove that horizontal recoil by taking away 18 percent of it when you combine that with the bruin heavy under barrel they're going to pretty much remove all of the horizontal recoil on this gun now this attachment attachment does kind of stink in the sense of it slows your ads speed down by a pretty good bit a nine percent slower ads speed however this in combination with that cast break muzzle means that all you have to do when you shoot this gun is just pull down on the analog stick a little bit and once you figure out the right amount to pull down because the gun is so consistent and has pretty much the same recoil pattern it turns this gun into a no recoil beam that's why everybody thinks all the streamers using the ram 7 have no recoil it's literally just finding the correct amount to pull down on the analog stick and once you find that the gun's even easier to use that's the ram 7 setup man let's go ahead and jump into the next gun i'm so tired of talking about the ram 7 but 
but it, it definitely is the best. I'm not going to lie to you. It's the most well-rounded. For our next gun, we're talking about the SOA Subverter, like I just mentioned. Now, the reason I'm even bringing up the SOA Subverter is because it does have a faster time to kill than the Ram if you hit every shot. That's a big if. This gun is a very hard-hitting, slower-firing gun that you can also use the iron sights with, and it definitely has a place in the meta. You will see this gun a lot on regular pubs resurgence. I don't know about the big map. It's kind of hard to use iron sights on the huge map, but 100% on regular resurgence, you will see this gun a ton. The reason people aren't using this in ranked play is simply because of that unforgivingness that it has because of the slower fire rate, whereas the Ram is much more forgiving, so it has that consistent time to kill. And also, the bullet velocity on this isn't as good as the Ram, meaning that when you kind of have people, say, floating in the sky, for example, or nose diving, trying to, like, not die out of the sky, it makes this gun a lot harder to use because you are going to have to worry about leading your shots. So this class setup, we're going to start this off by using the Motion V2 Heavy Stock. It's going to help significantly with our recoil control on the gun, moving out our recoil pattern by 10%, introducing 12% of both the horizontal and vertical recoil. It is going to slow down ADS speed a pretty good bit, and you are going to see a pretty bad sprint to fire nerf on this as well. However, the recoil benefits you get by using this are just super worth it. The gun also, I forgot to mention, does have a bit more recoil than the Ram 7, so we're going to be pretty much basing our class setup around having the least amount of recoil possible. Second attacher, we're chugging on the 50 round mag. I don't know why I didn't say that first. My bad. Third attacher, we're going to be using the Dozo 90 long barrel. It's going to help with that bullet velocity and damage range, and it's going to also help with our recoil control. I wish that this barrel boosted our bullet velocity a little bit more. I know the Ram 7 barrel boosted like crazy. I wish there was a barrel on this gun. I did kind of something similar. I think you'd see this gun a lot more in the meta. But for now, this is the best barrel that we can use. And it's going to help with our bullet velocity damage range and that recoil control. Fourth attach, we're going to be chucking on the Cassis Brake Muzzle for the exact same reasons as the Ram. The horizontal recoil on this is even more annoying than on the Ram 7. And for that reason, we're using the exact same muzzle to get 18% less horizontal recoil. And the exact same under barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. Also help with that horizontal our recoil because we pretty much made this to have the least amount of recoil possible with the attachments i've added here when you use this gun you're going to have a very low recoil pretty easy to use iron sight gun that is in fact going to kill faster than that ram 7 now it won't feel as consistent from far away and you may notice a little bit more horizontal recoil i'm not going to control anything here so that way you guys can kind of see it but you can kind of tell it does sway a little bit more left and right compared to that Ram 7. That's the only thing that's kind of annoying on this. And that same kind of unforgivingness that I mentioned earlier. But otherwise, the gun 100% is in the meta. Me personally, though, I'm going to opt for that slightly more consistent Ram 7. And then lastly, for a bonus, I'm going to chuck in the Pooley. I'm just going to show you guys the class setup for this. I don't think I need to explain this. This gun has been the exact same class setup for God knows how many months now. The reason people like using this, I do see it sometimes at those lower ranks when I'm trying to rank up other people's accounts. Is this because it has really low recoil? It's super easy to use and it doesn't have the worst time to kill. I also want to give an honorable mention for the primary gun, the Bruin MK9, which did receive a buff actually just under, I think, two weeks ago now. Basically, this gun now has pretty close to no recoil. It's not zero, but it's incredibly easy to use now and it's a lot easier to use than what it was before. Because of that, it definitely is a part of the meta, in my personal opinion. While it may not be as mobile as the Ram 7 or that SOA, the gun is like an absolute truck and has pretty much no recoil. Now, if you guys want screenshots of all the classes, I'm just going to go through and flick through literally all of these really quick so you guys can save these. Again, I think the HRM 9 is the best out of the SMGs, just to give you a little bit of a recommendation. And I think the Ram 7 is the best still out of the primaries. Hopefully, I'm not going too quick on these. I apologize if I am. And again, if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you guys as quick as possible. And if you guys want me to rank up your account on Warzone Rank before the season ends, make sure you guys join that Discord. It's literally the first thing in the description. I stream every single game. I do a task manager check. And like I said, I can do it for literally any platform you guys are on. Just make sure you link your Call of Duty account to a Battle.net account. I've done a few accounts already on stream, and honestly, it gives me something to play for, like full transparency. It's a lot of fun for me to do. But enough of me rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure to like and sub for more content.